welcome back to my channel today i am going to teach you how to make this beautiful floral top as you can see i am obsessed i am working with three colors and the most amazing thing is that i had one ball of each color and those three balls only have made a total of three tops so that's how you can save on um, yarn so you can see i am still in the process of working the white one but let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite of the three color combinations for me this one is my favorite but you can let me know down in the comment section which piece attracts you the most is it the green is it the yellow is it the white just let me know down below and let's jump into the video so we are going to learn how to make this basic top this can fit from a small to medium but uh, if you would like to change it to a bigger size or uh, a size up then i would recommend you uh, upgrade the hook size so for me i am using a three millimeter crochet hook and if you're maybe a size large you can go to a 4.5 and then xl you can go to a five millimeter or a 5.5 and that also means that you do not use thin yarn like i did this is milk cotton and this is the brand and it's a three ply milk cotton yarn milk cotton is a combination of cotton and acrylic it's 80 percent cotton and 20 percent acrylic which makes very beautiful bralettes so if you're upgrading your hook size then that means the yarn uh, choice upgrades at, as well it shouldn't be very thin it should be a yarn that you that recommends the hook that you're going to use so uh, the materials that you'll need for this project are yarn of course i'm using three colors and i had told you already that i needed only one ball of each color to make all the three tops so you're going to choose your colors a three millimeter crochet hook and a darning needle as well as a pair of scissors that's all you need for this project and let's jump into the video so you're going to grab your first color and for me that is going to be white and you're going to also grab your three millimeter crochet hook or whatever hook that you have chosen to use for your project and you're going to make a magic ring for a magic ring you just get this tail like this and then roll it over your two fingers like this so that it creates an X. Now insert your hook and then grab that yarn that is connected to the yarn ball, as you can see here. Just go under this strand and grab the yarn that's connected to the yarn ball like that. And then you're going to hold your magic ring and chain one to close it off. Now, um, we're going to make a chain of three which counts as a double crochet. We're going to make uh, 11 more double crochets into the magic ring to make a total of 12 double crochets since the chain three counts as a stitch. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over pull through two so so far we have a total of um three double crochets and we want a total of 12 including the chain three space so this is four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and 12 make sure i cross check your work so that you have a total of 12 double crochets including the chain threes um, at the beginning of the round now you're going to get the tail of the magic ring and pull it so that you close up the magic ring you can see what is happening there after closing up your magic ring you're going to go on top of the chain three at the beginning of the round on top of the chain three insert your hook 
pull through all loops sorry insert your hook and pull through all and that is a slip stitch now let's go on to round two for round two you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet into that very space where you place the slip stitch into that hole you're going to go in with one half double crochet and then one half double crochet into the same exact space so that's a total of two half double crochets into the space now you're going to go all the way around placing two half double crochets into each and every stitch so a half double crochet is yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook and yarn over pull through all so that's one for this stitch and then the second one then one and two so two half double crochets in two each and every stitch around Alright, so since we had a total of 12 double crochets or 12 stitches for our very first round, we should have a total of 24 because 12 times 2 is 24 and we have placed 2 stitches in each and every stitch. So we should have a total of 24 half double crochets all the way around uh, round 2. And let's cross check that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22 hold on i think i missed something here 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 so that's the use of cross checking make sure you have a total of 24 half double crochets i hadn't placed the two half double crochets into the very last stitch so make sure make sure you have a total of 24 half double crochets and then you're going to go into the very first half double crochet and place a slip stitch and after that you're going to chain one and cut your yarn and that marks the end of the very first color let's go on to color B which is green for this particular top so grab your next color whatever it is you can choose your colors the way you want to but for me this is my next color all right so you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to insert it into that space where you placed your slip stitch that hole there and you're going to attach your green yarn or whatever yarn that you're using for color b now you're going to make a chain of eight after your chain of eight you're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook so you're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet so not one two three and into the fourth you're going to place one double crochet and continue to double crochet into each and every chain So when you get back to the body of the circle you will have a total of one two three four five and the chain three at the beginning so literally we have a total of six double crochets and then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch like that and then slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to make a chain of eight double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook so we are just repeating the same exact process and double crochet all the way down until you get to the body of the circle make sure before you slip stitch you cross check that you have a total of six double crochets including the chain three at the beginning of the row so one two three four five and six and then slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next chain eight double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook 
So keep repeating this all the way around and I'll meet you back towards the end of the round and i let you know what you should be having. All right, so we are almost coming to the end and I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. So this is my 11th petal that I'm working with right now. And on the body of the circle, I have a total of three stitches left, as you can see here, one, two, and three. So after my 11th petal, I'm going to go into the next stitch with a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next. So that means that leaves us with only one stitch here. And you're going to make your chain of eight. And then you're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook and double crochet into each and every chain, all the way back to the body of the circle. And this is our very last petal, which is the 12th petal. Make sure you cross check and you should be having a total of 12 petals. So after your 12th petal, you're going to go into the very last stitch with one slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the very first space with the, with the green color. So just slip stitch in there where you attached your green color. Insert your hook and slip stitch like that. And then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. So that marks the end of round two. Make sure you cross check to make sure you have uh, a total of 12 petals all together, all the way around the circle. This is what you should have. Now let's go on to our next color. And that is yellow. 
so for the yellow color don't mind the tails right now we shall deal with them later on when we are weaving in the ends for the yellow color you're going to grab your strand let me get the one in the middle so that the ball doesn't move around you're going to make a slip knot and we are going to attach we're going to attach our yellow color on top of any petal of our choice so choose any just go on top there whatever petal that you choose just attach your yarn there all right so after attaching your color c which is the third color you're going to chain one and then you're going to half double crochet into the same exact space like that and then you are going to chain three prepare for a double crochet we're going to do two double crochets together but on this petal and on the opposite petal so prepare for a double crochet go into this second stitch pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two don't finish the double crochet here yarn over go into the second stitch on this side just find the second stitch there pull up a loop yarn over pull through two you have three loops left on your hook and yarn over pull through all that's what you should have and now you're going to chain three and half double crochet on top of this petal okay this is what we have at the moment i'm going to show you that again you're going to chain three prepare for a double crochet go into the second stitch on this side pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the second stitch on the opposite side pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all the three loops chain three and half double crochet into the top of the petal that you just joined to the previous one so chain three go into the second stitch with the double crochet but don't finish it yarn over go into the next double crochet into the next petal into the second stitch of the next petal and then do two double crochets together by now you should be knowing what that means and you can see what this is creating after this you're going to chain three and you're going to go once you have one two and three joinings you're going to go into this petal here like this and you're going to place one double crochet now things are changing one double crochet and then you're going to make a chain of five and then one double crochet into the same space so this will create our very first corner so we're going to go back to our original system you're going to chain three and then double crochet two together from one petal to the other like that and then you're going to chain three half double crochet on top of the next petal and then chain three double crochet two together chain three half double crochet into the next petal chain three do the same thing but this time we want a total of four joinings before we create our next corner chain three and half double crochet so so far we have after this corner here we have a total of one two three and we want a total of four joinings so that means we are still going chain three and two double crochets together now that means we have a total of one two three and four four joinings and after this you're going to make a chain of three and we create our next corner so one double crochet chain five and then one more double crochet into the same exact space 
so so far we have a total of one and two corners and we want a total of three corners because our bra cup is comprised of three corners it's more like a triangle a triangular shape sorry so after this you're going to chain three and let's go back to our system two double crochets together chain three half double crochet into the next petal chain three two double crochets together and here we also want a total of four joinings so so far we have one and two after this this corner here we have one and two and we want a total of four chain three two double crochets together chain three and half double crochet into the next petal so we have a total of one two three and one more we have to create one more joining one two three two double crochets together like that and then now we have a total of one two three and four which we wanted and now we are going to make a chain of three into the next petal which is the very last petal here you're going to place a double crochet chain five and one double crochet into the same exact space like that and then you're going to make a chain of three and make one last joining remember at the beginning we had a total of three joinings three instead of four and each side should have a total of four that means this very last one applies to this side that has three so make one joining two double crochets together like that and then you're going to make a chain of three and slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of your round and that marks the end of round four because we have round one and round two in white round three is the one that creates the petals and round four is the very first round of yellow so this is what you should be having right now and you can see how the bra cup is forming right now so we are going to uh, do something else we are going to go around using the same exact color for round five so you're going to chain one and go into that very first half double crochet with one half double crochet and then from now on you're going to just go into each space with three half double crochets just don't go into the stitches just go into the spaces with three half double crochets into each space until we get to our very first corner so remember the corner is the chain five space so while we are placing the three half double crochets all those spaces are chain three spaces as you can see here now this is the chain five space which is our very first corner so you're going to place a total of three half double crochets like that and then you are going to make a double crochet into the same space get a stitch marker and place it in on top of the double crochet like that and then place three more half double crochets into the same space like that and then go all the way down placing three half double crochets into each and every chain three space So we have placed three half double crochets into each and every chain three space and now we've reached the next chain five space which is the next corner. We're going to repeat the same thing that we did here. 
So place three half double crochets into that space. And then place one double crochet into the same space. And then place a stitch marker into that double crochet. And three half double crochets into the same space. Then you're going to place three half double crochets into each chain three space from now on until you get to your very last corner. So working the half double crochet in spaces makes it very easy for you. You don't have to focus a lot. That's why I'm just speeding through this. All right, so we've reached the chain five space. Let's just do the same exact thing. Three half double crochets, one double crochet, place a stitch marker into the double crochet, and then three more half double crochets into the same space. And then you're going to place three half double crochets into the next chain three space. Now we have only one chain three space left and there we are going to place a total of two half double crochets. Reason being uh, we placed our very first half double crochet into the very first half double crochet here. We placed it into a stitch so this stitch will be considered to be part of these three and uh, we are going to just slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and chain one and cut our yarn. So let me show you what you should have at this point. I hope I'm explaining everything well. If you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like button and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your notification bell uh, so that you're notified whenever I post. So this is what we should be having. So what I want to do is the place where I ended my very last stitch for round five should be the base of the triangle. That's what I'm going to consider as the base. So let's get our hook and yarn. We are still using our color C, which is yellow for this particular project. And we're going to make a slip knot. Okay. So we're going to start off with one corner. Now we're going to work like we are working a normal brack up. So from this side to this side and then back and then back. We are not going to tamper with the base of the, of the triangle. So the reason why we placed these stitch markers was to see exactly where to start and end our rows. So let's begin. Uh, I'm going to place my hook into that double crochet stitch that has the stitch marker. And at this point, I can remove the stitch marker and attach my color. Like that. Now you're going to make a chain of four. Five, sorry. A chain of five that counts as a double crochet chain two. Skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next. Chain two. Skip two stitches, one double crochet into the next and repeat that all the way up. So we're almost coming to the next um, stitch marker. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 spaces. And the next stitch is the one that has the stitch marker. So you're going to remove it. And you're going to chain two. 
and go into that stitch that had the stitch marker you're going to place one double crochet chain five and one more double crochet into the same exact space or stitch to create the v at the top and then you're going to make a chain of two go into the next stitch we are just mirroring what is happening on this side so one double crochet into the next stitch then from now on you're going to chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next stitch all the way down chain two skip two one double crochet into the next And we are almost coming to the end. You should be having two stitches before the stitch with a stitch marker. If you have that, that means you didn't make any errors. You're going to chain two and go into that stitch that had the stitch marker with one double crochet. Now this is what you should have at this point. And after that, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now from here, you're going to place three single crochets in each chain to space so start here one two three go into the next space one two three so go all the way up placing three single crochets into each and every chain to space until you get to the chain five space and i'll show you what to do from there So we have reached the chain five space at the top you're going to place a total of one two and three single crochets and then place one double crochet into the same space and then three more single crochets into the same space one two and three like that if you want you can mark the double crochet because you'll need it for the next row and then go all the way down placing three single crochets into each and every chain to space all the way down So I'm placing my last three single crochets into the very last space. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work and this should be the right side of your work. I want to make my very last row on the right side of my work. That's why I'm going to do another row of single crochets. So go into each and every single crochet with one single crochet all the way up until the stitch marker.
so when you get to the stitch marker you're going to remove it and into that space into that stitch you're going to place one single crochet one double crochet and one more single crochet into the same stitch and then you're going to go all the way down placing one single crochet into each and every stitch until the end of your row all right so um after this you're going to chain one and cut your yarn and this marks the end of our very first bra cup let's see what we have this is exactly what we have now we can identify the top of the bra cup which is here and then these are the sides and the base that has the chain that we left behind after round round five so you're going to go ahead and make the same exact identical bra cup and i'll meet you back to show you how to join and put everything together all right guys so we have our two beautiful bra cups ready and now um this is the one that's still attached to the yarn ball and I'm going to make a chain of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, after your 15 chains, uh, when you come back on this chain, you should still be working on the right side of your work. So just put this just aside and let's focus on this bra up. You're going to go into the second chain from the hook and place a half double crochet and continue to half double crochet in each and every chain once until you get to the body of the bra cup. So in other words, you should be having a total of 14 half double crochets since one of the chains, the 15th chain was the turning chain. All right, so after placing your half double crochet into the very last chain before the body of the bra cup, you're going to go into this very first row of single crochets and you're going to place one half double crochet, one half double crochet into the next row of single crochets. And then into this space, which is the double crochet space, you're going to place three half double crochets like that. This is what I was talking about. Make sure you're working on the right side of your work at this point. And after this, you're going to go into each and every stitch with one half double crochet. If you find any tails, just like I'm about to, like this one, you're just going to work your half double crochet while weaving in that tail so that we don't have to deal with it later on. We are trying to minimize the number of uh, loose ends that we have for this top. So continue to half double crochet all the way across. So you can see I'm weaving in this tail as I go. Okay guys, I'm almost coming to the end here. And in this double crochet space, you're going to place 
three half double crochets one half double crochet into the first row of single crochets and one half double crochet into the last row of single crochets so that way we have placed a double crochet row across the base of our bra cup and now we are going to place our work in a way that you can see the top part of the bra cup is here so you should place your second bra cup the same exact way with the base facing down and um, we are going to work at the base of the second bra cup so uh, one thing that i wanted to point out is you're going to get one strand of yarn a short strand of yarn just like this one remove your hook from here this is the yarn that's connected to the yarn ball so just abandon it i hope you're seeing what i'm doing and then you're going to make a slip knot with your short strand of yarn and you're going to attach it on this end of the bra cup and you're going to make a chain of 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and the 15th is to just fasten off so you pull on it so that you don't work a stitch into it this is just to balance exactly what's on this side onto this side remember we had a total of 14 half double crochets here so we've made a chain of 14 so that when we make it all the way across we also place a total of 14 half double crochets on the opposite side as well so you're going to prepare for a half double crochet and go onto this second bra cup and continue to do the same exact thing that you did for the other side so one half double crochet into the first row of single crochets one half double crochet into the second row of single crochets three half double crochets into the double crochet space and then make it just all the way across with one half double crochet into each and every stitch and when you get a tail just make sure you work while weaving it in you work your half double crochet stitches while weaving it in just like we did for the first bra cup All right, after this, you're going to place three half double crochets into the double crochet space, one half double crochet into the next single crochet row, one half double crochet into the next single crochet row, and then uh, into each and every chain, you're going to place one half double crochet. All right, so we have placed our very last half double crochet stitch into the last chain and now we're going to chain one turn our work now we are on the wrong side of our work and we're going to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch below so just go all the way across with half double crochet stitches into each and every stitch from the previous row All right, so after this row, you're going to just keep repeating the same exact row, chain one and one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way across until you get the length of the top that you want. But since I am going for almost the same exact look as my inspirational photo, then I'm going to do about five rows or I'll mention to you guys how many rows I'll have done before we jump onto the next step. Okay guys, so if I'm to count from this side, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight rows 
of the half double crochet stitches now on the ninth row or the very final row make sure you're working on the right side of your work just like i'm doing right now and we're going to start creating scallops on the edge of the top so we're going to go into the very first stitch with one single crochet and then you're going to chain two prepare for a double crochet and place three more double crochets into the same exact stitch which is the very first stitch and then you're going to skip two stitches and then single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact stitch where you placed the single crochet like that skip two stitches one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch chain two and three double crochets into the same stitch where you placed the single crochet stitch so we are going to repeat this all the way across skip two stitches one single crochet into the next single crochet into the next repeat that all the way across and you can see what this is creating it's creating those pretty scallops at the base of the bralette so we're coming to the end of our row of scallops and i'm placing i guess my very last one skip two stitches one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the very last and after this you're going to just chain one and cut your yarn and this is what you're going to have at the base of your work now you're going to attach your yarn on the right side on top of the bra cup and we are going to create a strap if you want more sturdy straps i already have a tutorial on how to make those just click on the link on the screen so that you learn how to make more sturdy straps and thicker straps for your bralette but today i am going to just attach my yarn single crochet into the same stitch and then chain two and double crochet down where you place the single crochet now chain three double crochet into the space between the two double crochets from the row below and just repeat that chain three double crochet in between the two stitches from the row below you'll see your strap starting to build up so you're going to work until you have a total of 30 to 50 segments i don't know how long you want your strap to be but for my first one i did a total of 30 segments for my strap and this is how long it is i don't want super long straps because i'm also going to create straps for this corner and this corner so just go ahead and work your straps so after your strap you'll chain one and cut your yarn pull through and repeat the same exact process for your second strap and these straps are going to be tied right behind your neck when you wear your bralette and uh, for the bottom straps you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to make a chain that's long enough to be tied around the base of your bust so So make sure your work is on the right side once you get the length of the strap that you want you're going to attach and work a single crochet row across the side of the top make sure you're not tampering with the shape of the top just continue to place single crochets so when you come to the end um you are going to make the same exact number of chains that you did at first so if you had a total of 70 here you're going to make sure you chain 70 here so the moment you're done with your second strap cut your yarn and then pull through and at this point you can cut off the excess yarn 
you're going to just repeat the same exact process on the opposite side as well this side that doesn't have straps yet all right guys so after creating your straps on both ends as you can see here it's now time to turn our work onto the wrong side and within all the tails that we have uh, just use your darning needle and start weaving in all these tails so continue to weave in your ends and I'll show you one last step that you don't have to miss in order to get a perfect fitting for this top. After weaving in all your ends, you're going to have something that looks like this. I have this end not worked on because we are now going to join this section together and I'll weave it in after joining that section. So you're going to get a very uh, short strand of the yellow color and we are going to join this middle section so very first stitch to the first stitch on this side leaving a tail behind and at this point you can tie this together those two strands make sure you're working on the wrong side of your work go back into the very first stitch I think after tying this you can cut it off so that it doesn't interfere with our joining then go into the second stitch i'm going to join a total of seven stitches but you can join as many stitches as you need to get a better coverage for your top this is the fourth fifth sixth and seventh so that's the seventh stitch you don't want to go too high that it's going to bring in the top like this so i've done a total of seven stitches joined and uh now you're going to go back to the wrong side of your work and go back into the lower stitches that you joined before this is just uh we are weaving in this tail but in a way like we are joining the two ends together after this you can cut your yarn and here you go our top is ready to wear and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know how you found this one and i'll see you in my next video bye